Let me just fix this real quick. Fix the screen. There we go. Very good. For some reason, they didn't save. Hi, everyone. Cinder here. Welcome to Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, as you saw the uh, the main screen. Can I go back to that? Yeah, I can. Cool. So, uh, Dark Arisen is the game Dragon's Dogma, as you see there, with um, some DLC stuff added in. Uh, it's with basically some, some added, added content. Um, I have played Dragon's Dogma years ago. I never played the Dark Arisen stuff. Now, I don't remember much about Dragon's Dogma anyway. <laughs> so, um, this will be a lot of fun. I remember a few things um, here and there. I may remember some stuff as we, as we play it. But, um, this game is really good. I don't think it got the, um the following that like as big of a following as it should but the people that played this game and I think a few people still do play it are really well I'm playing it now but the people that did play Dragon's Dogma that I know super enjoyed the game and that's me included I remember thoroughly enjoying my time with Dragon's Dogma it's a lot of fun just to play. The storyline is kind of all over the place to begin with. And even at the end, it leaves you thinking. But we'll get to all of that way later. Um, sit down, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. Um, this is, again, a game that... I don't think a, a ton of people played when it first came out. I think people have more people have played Dark Arisen, um, being on, you know, being out for some time now. I think more people found out about this game and started to play it. But when it first came out, I don't think a ton of people played it. But the, you know, compared to like a big AAA, you know, super AAA title. But the people that did play Dragon's Dogma really enjoyed it. And nobody's here yet. Am I live? <laughs> yes, I am. It's just nobody is here yet. Great. <laughs> so nobody's going to hear that opening. Oh, well. I can... <laughs> list the people who watch this on YouTube, which I hope they do. Hope you're watching this. Leaves you thinking equals confusing as all get out. I'm not going to say anymore because... I don't want to. I don't want to give people the wrong impression. So I'm not going to say anymore. We're just going to go through the game. Yes, Eagle Claw, you heard it. I'm glad. <laughs> One person heard the uh, heard my introduction. Um, sound and everything should be pretty well balanced. I did a test stream yesterday. Lasted about an hour. Um, people, a few people showed up, which was really cool to help me test things. The uh, screen did not save, sadly, so if you were here right at the beginning or watching this on YouTube, you'll see me uh, change the screen, stretch it out. That way, um, there's more of it and less of, like, the letterbox. Um, so we're going to start a new game. Hi, Ivan. Hey, Perkins. What's up? Yes, start a new game. Proceed. This will be, I think, the fourth time I'll be going through this because of all the testing. Uh, we're going to play on normal. Not on hard, but we're going to play on normal. We will probably not be able to read those fast army, you see, because <laughs> because they uh, are really fast. Because loading time is fast. Those are just loading screens. So. In another place, in another life, another child demand blazes your path. How dark it's gone. Have you a light source? Okay. Here's the one thing you need to know. This game is really light. 
sound-wise. <laughs> if the NPCs are far away, there is very little chance you're going to hear them. So you're going to have to read the subtitles. <laughs> now, the NPCs are more... Um, are more to give help to the player and, by extension, all of you watching. To uh, give you hints on how to play, where to go, things like that. Or just, you know, uh, just kind of some random banter. So, if you can't hear them, it's fine. You can just read what they say. We're going to use the lantern like he wants us to. And look, the lantern will actually cause light, which is important. And before you say, man, Sandro, you need to turn the game up even more. Guess what? I can't. So. <laughs> um. The dragon's roost is just beyond. We should hurry. If you need to, uh. Press X or Y to attack. This is kind of, this is tutorial stuff here. I'll go over everything you're seeing more when we're actually in the game. Hold left bumper to block. So you can block. So if things are still light, turn your volume up. Because what you're hearing now is probably as loud as the game is going to get. Yeah, th this game is is light. Ah, a gateway to the world. Here. There is no more boosting the game for me. <laughs> Watch your step. So this is a ripstone. What it does is it summons pawns. Basically, it summons NPCs to help us. Our kind is ever ready to fight oh, by the grace of your guidance. As you progress in your adventures, pawns will provide you with useful information and hints. That's no joke. And that leads to one of the coolest things about Dragon's Dogma. That I hope they continue for the, uh, in the second game. They just refine it and make it even better. A hobgoblin. So now we know this enemy is a hobgoblin. Wrong one. I want this one. So this big one is a hobgoblin. Now we know. You see the NPC can grab enemies and hold them for us to hit, which is really cool. I feel it close by. Stay ever ready as we advance. You see that that pawn was you know, I feel it close by. Yo. Come master, this way. Basically, they're telling us where to go. The NPCs are Super helpful. You say generic NPC, but while these may be, they're not all generic. You'll see. Goblin. I will protect you. Uh, we can dash. I grant you flyers. Here's a new enemy. I believe this is a uh, harpy. Snow harpy. Yep, snow harpy. Uh, we have, but it says there, attacking while holding left bumper or right bumper will perform a weapon skill. So we have, you already know you played the game, but not everybody has. I bet you more people that watch this haven't, because <laughs> that's usually what happens on my channel. Let's see, we can running jump. I don't think there's anything over here. Anyway, down we go. Ow. So you see, we have a. We have a. Uh, have a magic type user, a bow user, another fighter like we are. So you get a little taste of the uh, beginning classes here. Attention. 
So you see how that NPC just said it hates fire? This is really important. And it's one of the coolest things about this game. We have So in a little bit, we'll be making an NPC. Uh, a pawn, but just like these pawns. We'll be making a pawn. And it will aid us in our journey. What happens is our pawn will learn as things happen. So these these um these snow harpies are weak to fire. Our pawn would learn that and then know it's weak to fire. And it will remind us over time. It'll say, hey, you know, so harpies are weak to fire. To remind us. The other aspect of Dragon's Dogma is you can summon your friend's pawns in the game. Again, this is, um, this is kind of a tutorial section. So, our, our pawn would know it's fire. So let's say, um, Knight was here and she was playing the game also, but I'm farther than she is. And let's say she takes my pawn along and goes up against a snow harpy. But she doesn't know what it's weak to. My pawn would, would pipe up and say, hey, it's weak to fire. So because my pawn had the knowledge from my adventures, it could tell Knight in her game. And then her pawn would learn that after she used fire on it and be like, oh, hey, it's weak to fire. Now I know. Then if somebody else took Knight's pawn and hadn't been hadn't fought a snow harpy yet, her pawn would say, hey, this is weak to fire and so on and so forth. It's a way of sharing knowledge through the pawn system. It's such a really cool idea. It's really neat. So your pawn learns, and then you send it out, basically. Because people can, can take them. Like your friends could take them, or you just play online and anybody could take it randomly. That won't work as well now because of how old this game is. But um, friends, it would still work if I had a whole bunch of friends playing this at the same time. They could take my pawn and maybe learn things that they didn't know. Because you only find out about weaknesses by striking the enemy with that weakness. <laughs> so it's a really cool system. I just want to go over a little bit. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power, especially in Dragon's Dogma. It's just a really cool system. Um, I had a, uh, you know, one of my friends, uh, Dr. Hoovian. Um, we played this game roughly the same time, but we kind of took different paths. As in, we went to different places at different times. And so we saw enemies at different times. So even though we weren't playing together, because we would use each other's pawns, we were able to help each other out. It's, it's a really cool system. It Our really is. Ahead. And something I hope again they they uh, bring back in the second game. This way, sir. The worm awaits beyond, sir. I should be proud to guide you. Close by, arisen. We'd hidden away Stay here ever ready as for we fear of the beasts all around. This looks interesting. Arisen, this way, sir. See, the NPC said this looks interesting, basically pointing out the treasure chest. The NPCs will help you. you yes, sometimes they can chatter a bit talking. too much, especially when you're just wandering around because they say. They can end up saying the same things over and over and over again. But they can be really, really helpful. Our army is routed. Feel it close by Just plain reason. truth. Stay ever ready. Beyond that advance. grand door, the dragon makes its roost. Oh, the dragon we're here to kill. I think the guard's dead. I think he's dead? I think he's dead. Pretty dead.
Yeah, he's dead. So, this is a Chimera. One thing you can do is you can play this kind of Monster Hunter style, and you can grab on to larger enemies. Which is really awesome. Now, this uses up our stamina gauge, which is that um, orange bar below our health. And as you can see, we uh, cut off the tail. Now it can't use that attack anymore. It doesn't have the tail to spit poison at us. The goat head is also another another uh, thing you can beat. There we go. The goat is silenced. So it hit the lion with magic while it stopped magic will still the lion's head so now we know the lion's head is weak to magic there's not much we can do about that because we don't use magic but it is something that now we know I hope you can see how this is uh, how this is already really cool and we're just we're just starting here The uh, bar, obviously, in the top middle of the screen is the enemy's health. Every dot is a health bar, so you have to go through the dots, then the health bar itself. This is a uh, healing magic. Mr. Tibbles, no eating the NPC. Bad kitty. <laughs> really really awesome music certain enemies can in areas can inflict debilitation such as sleep poison petrification etc such as the uh, snake could cause poison we didn't give it that chance but it could cause it could have caused poison Icons along your health gauge will indicate such changes to status. The sword is because we have a fire enchant on our sword. And almost dead. There we go. So you see, these enemies can really hurt you. <laughs> Took about half our life, roughly. Now you may notice it stopped at 8:15. The healing magic. More on that in a little bit. Now choose, flee, or step forth. Take hold of what lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternal ring. And countless lifetimes come to pass. The delightful and ever no novel pleasure of a useless occupation. Hey, what are you implying, game? <laughs> It's a little too on the nose. What do you <laughs> now? Opening cutscene. Jamie, the game is taking shots at me. <laughs>
Y'all are now snacks. So, really big dragon. Treat others well, and they shall treat you well in kind. And now we make our character. Which, I don't take a lot of time to make my characters, honestly. Like, I don't change a lot of stuff. Um, but... Go with Syndral. Press enter. Yeah, I have to use the. Uh... To use the keyboard for all this. Dragon. Should I have to Dr. Wiley? Shall be a moniker. You can have it to where you don't see characters' names. You just see a moniker if you have parental controls enabled. That is what you call fast food. And well, it was central anyway. Why not? Uh, voice four. Here's the voice. So we'll go with that. That's just the base if you just want to get started playing the game. You can also make more detailed edits and really go into everything. You go into hairstyle. And there's 62 different hairstyles to choose from. Some of them, you know, male, female. Eye shape, you can have a whole bunch of different, or face shape, a whole bunch of different faces you can go with. How you want the your eyes. Eyebrows, etc., etc., nose, mouth, ears. You have a lot of customization if you really want to go into it. And then you can even go further into detail than the one you choose. S position, spacing, eye color, left eye color if you want different eyes, eye colors for left and right. You can really go in depth. Um, stature, you can edit the body, skin color weight height you know etc etc you can really go into into things but again I don't really really do that too much we are going to add a beard this one here makeup color I mean there's a lot of customization is the is the point I think that's everything voice voice moniker um, added the beard I didn't really change the uh, change anything else like I said pretty generic I'm not a person that takes a ton of time making a character usually the base character look works for me um, sometimes I change things here and there like add a beard or or uh, something like that so there we go um let's get started with dragon's dogma yes i'm ready to play today like every day waves gently lap at the shore of your tiny village the twin blessings of warm sun see i told you it's gonna load really fast <laughs> game first came out you had a lot of time to read those not a lot of time but you had some time to read those Basically, everything is peaceful, everything is good. But instead of sitting here watching me make a character for the next two hours, let's play the game.
bits of spoken, friends. The dragon's return is nigh. Join the honorable duke's ranks and help us be rid of the fell beast. The days come to lay down rod and reel and take up the sword. I'd rather have my rod and reel. I run towards it? I gotta help protect the village. These losers aren't doing it. You see them running? <laughs> of course, I need a weapon. That'll do. I gotta stop for time while everybody gets away. Because the guards aren't doing anything, they're running. Cowards. Yeah, dragon uh, doesn't mess around. I get that. That person's roasted. Challenge the dragon. Pull sword. Start swinging. Get close to dragon. Man, the dragon's got a lot of life, as you can see there. I will hit your kneecap! <laughs> yeah, but you're level one, the dragon's like level 99. I know! <laughs> but I had to try to help! Actually pierced the scale. Well, pierce the hand anyway. Be the under side of the hand. It wouldn't really be that scaly anyway. I planked you for one. Ha ha. speak draconic not in this world also while I go too well on your ankles thanks <laughs> no you aren't meant to defeat it <laughs> kind of need that. Please don't eat my heart. I need that. That's bad. Welcome to Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> I'm super talented. Give me a 
Sundor, you're a heartless person. <laughs> Technically, in this world right now, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just that awesome. Seriously, who needs a heart to live? <laughs> so we're now known as a as an arisen, and that is what everybody will be um, referring to the your character as as arisen. It's time for you to begin your journey as arisen. But before you can win your heart back from the dragon, you'll need to prepare. So that's the whole thing. We need to beat the dragon to get our heart back. We're forever linked with the dragon, basically. Take a weapon. Okay. So let's take a weapon. We get to choose a vocation. Vocation is basically your class. It will determine your basic attributes, what equipment you can wield, and your skills. These are basic vocations. There will be advanced ones later. Now, you can change vocations at... at uh, forget what they're called. But you'll be able to change vocations through, through the game. So don't uh, worry. It's just that you only get EXP, basically for the vocation you're using. The other ones will stay stay static. But you can level them level them up. You can see they're by the rank here. They all start off at level 1. So, here's where I ask chat, what would you like me to be? That's where the Rescue Princess story comes from. A misunderstanding of winning your heart back. <laughs> That's clever, Maze. That's clever. So, I'm going to let you, in chat, choose my class. Because I think that'll be fun. So, there's Fighter, which uses swords and shields. You see, primary weapon sword, and secondary is shield. Which is where, which is the same class we had in the introduction. And the shield is a weapon you can use it to shield bash and things like that i showed that off a little bit during the uh, fights if you're paying attention so this is a there will all be basic vocations a melee specialist with attacks and counter attacks able to cut through any resistance so it could use its shield to block and it's a basic melee fighter we'll learn um different sword swings and as you can say here as you can see here a um, counterattacks as well there is the strider class daggers and bows this nimble warrior can both mount and attack foes so it's easier to grab onto enemies and hold onto them and swing at them and uses a bow to strike from afar so they use daggers and a bow for long ranged and we'll learn techniques for both both the daggers and the bow the last is mage a conjurer of magics to heal wounds and target elemental weaknesses. Hey, Doc. Haven't seen you around. What you been up to lately? Other than watching um, Unknown Battlegrounds. <laughs> um, Mage is your caster. Uses a staff. No secondary weapon. Uses a staff. Uh, we'll be able to use um, elemental weaknesses. We'll be able to use different elemental attacks, plus we'll have access to healing magic. Though healing magic in this game doesn't go quite as far as other games. So now that I've seen those, now that you've seen those classes, Fighter, Strider, and Mage, choose one. And I will, and I'll play as that. Some people have already chose. I've seen Strider, I saw one Strider. Um, I saw one fighter and three mage. Just been watching that playing near. Oh, cool. I haven't caught you on to uh, 
to try try out that uh, Overwatch PVE you were telling me about. It's like when I'm on, you're offline. <laughs> Anybody else want to throw in their two cents? We're change three mage, one strider, and one fighter. Uh, I got you, Doc. Hold my ground. Good. Because we'll switch to it eventually. So. <laughs> no worry. You'll get to see. See some things. I'll try to, to switch out the classes every once in a while. And, and show them all. Mage. Alright. Mage has it. Let's do this. Mage is actually a pretty tough one to start out with. If I remember right. But we now have a stick. <laughs> equip yourself with a primary and secondary weapon. That's a lie. I can't equip myself with a secondary weapon. Because <laughs> of the staff. Primary weapons such as swords and daggers are combat essentials. Secondary weapons like bows and shields offer support. So you can have a primary and secondary weapon on. And we don't swing the staff. We fire like this. We fire like an elemental bolt. Which is quite fun. Take this. And the heavy attack will actually swing the swing the staff. Rock. Break everything. Take everything. It's all ours. Main character privilege. Oh, nothing there. Lame. You can also grab things and throw them, like so, which is fun. You can also do this to enemies, by the way. Grab and throw. You say it left a glowing scar? Yes, the wound has closed, and it seems the worst has passed, but his heart lies silent. If you would face me. You are sure of this? Yes. Ill magic, the work of some curse. The whole world's already gone mad for fear of this dragon. Won't no good come of this. I must go see to the others, Kina. Tell me if aught changes here. You now have a toothpick to help the dragon. How nice of you. I do. See, I'm a person that likes to uh, that likes to help. <laughs> Gabriel started since was already bolting. Ha huh? ha! Huh? Because the bolts. You're in a very punny mood. I approve, Maze. That's fine. I still need to pick this game up. I caught it when it was on sale. When it was on sale, and uh, Steam Summer Sale's coming up here in probably a few months. It'd be a good time to pick it up. Am I really that hard of healing, or is that cutscene really that silent? The whole That's what I'm saying. You're going to have to turn up. Just remember to turn back down for when you watch my other videos. But this whole game is it's really quiet. And like I said, I have OBS at max. I have all the settings for the game at max. I can't, uh, I can't up this anymore. Probably go through this game like new. I am. I am, Doc. I am going to be going through it like like it's new. Because I don't remember that much either. Just that it's awesome. I just remember the game is awesome. Uh, defeating foes will get you EXP. So, that's all I said. <laughs> Pick that up. Pick up any of this snow. Aww. I should be able to break that. 
We can speak to people. You should be abed. I wish you would not strain yourself so. I am worried for you, cuz. Sorry. Taking all your stuff. Food. We'll need the green warish. A bucket. We now have a flask of water because we uh, took the empty flask and filled it with water. Anything else in here? Green wires, that's important. Can't grab any of that. So we have 410 health. You're a mage, not a thief. Act accordingly. I'm a hero going... Well, I'm a main character going off on an adventure. <laughs> now, you can also take oil. You progress through the game by doing quests, as I said there. So, you can take water here. We can take oil, but I don't have another empty flask. So, Dragon's Dogma uses a weight system. Yeah, we both went through it like three times, too. Yeah, we did, Doc. It's awesome. This game's amazing. And it'll be like going through it like new. And neither of us have played the Dark Arisen part. So it'll be great. Pick up and toss her. <laughs> Can't quite do that. Mage. Not strong enough. <laughs> Thanks. Couldn't hear a thing. Was getting... yeah, that's why I have the subtitles on. Like I said, I can't boost this game anymore. And I apologize. But the whole game is just really quiet for some reason. And again, I have the game and OBS, which I'm using to stream max so it's just a quiet game mages are just thieves with magic <laughs> okay oh i should get the oil instead throw an adversary to douse them we can combine the flask of water with the berry We made eyedropper. Ah, uh, but it uses the flask. So you can combine things, as you saw. Has enough oil to burn for a while. Oh, we have one flask of oil already. Good. Um, this game has a lot of little things that make it awesome. Even if you're going to make me shake for lunch. Okay. Um, this game has a lot of little things like that. Like you just saw, you can combine things. To make, diff to make new items. So I say it all uses a weight system. So these small nuts weigh 0 0.01 weight. It never gives like pounds or kilos or anything. It's just 0 0.01 weight of this world. <laughs> um, depending on how much you're carrying, your uh, weight will go up until you're over-encumbered. The higher... These notches, so we're very light right now. Once we're past this notch, it'll be light, and then I think it's medium, and then heavy, and then over-encumbered. Something like that. The uh, heavier you are, the slower you move. So keep that, keep that in mind. Also, I think you, lose, you use uh, more stamina when you're climbing things. These small nuts will recover a tiny amount of health. <laughs> can we combine it with anything? No. You can see there's three things it combines with, but we don't have any of them. Mithrate, uh, consume it to purge the body of poison. So you have um, this explanation, a type of herb that grows throughout Grancis, which is where we are. Consume it to purge the body of poisons. If you switch the explanation, it gives you a more, hey, this is how it works in game. Affects a single target. It's a combinable materia. Cures poison. So you have the flavor texty explanation and then the just game explanation. <laughs> we have a large nut, which recovers more health than the small one, of course. Could serve as an improvised meal. Um, we have some uh, scrag of beast, so like a little bit of meat. Consume it to recover a bit of stamina. So it gives you a bit of stamina back. Um, things will go bad as well. 
um, over time, if I remember right. Like, the meat will go bad over time. Green Warish. Consume it to recover a little bit of health. Vex single target. Combine material. Restore some health. Can't combine it with anything. And we have this eyedropper, which cures blind. And this is the curative tab. These are all the things we could use to restore health or get rid of status effects right now. We have a stone, which we could throw to make some noise. A uh, pie meant for throwing, not eating. So you don't eat this pie, you throw it at an enemy, which is quite funny. <laughs> you could use the rock for a lot of things, you can see here. We have a lantern, which we used in the tutorial bit. You can add oil to it. If you have oil to add to it. Over time, as you use the lantern, the oil will go down. Lantern without oil does not work. <laughs> Ceramic jug. You can throw it to make noise. Again, it's just another thing you can use to make noise. Flask of water could be created if you had the materials. So you can make a flask of water. It's carrying water. We have some misc items like this uh, blank scroll. This bucket, which cannot be combined or anything, so we're going to sell it. It's money. The broom can be combined with stuff. We have this rusted staff. <laughs> A plebeian shirt. Set of fishermen tatters because it's all, the chest area has been rent apart because, well, dragon. <laughs> and cloth greaves so really really basic equipment but i hope you can see this is just another thing that makes this game really cool we have some we have this uh, combinable menu weight system which will bite me later because i like picking up everything treasure chest cloud wine Uh, combine it with other materials to produce aught of use. Affects a single target. Restores some health. Restores some stamina. So it restores both. We can combine it with a green warish and make something completely different. Let's do that. Desiccated herbs. So we made this. Consume them to recover a bit of health. So we don't restore, it doesn't restore stamina, but it probably restores more health than just a plain green warish. Because instead of, it probably restores more health because we had to combine it with something. Nothing. Sad. So expect me to kind of wander around a lot. This will be a good a good uh, taste of what it will be like if I play like a Fallout or something. You'll get a good taste of that here. Some pickled mushrooms. Hi. I didn't strike you. Them beasts will burn the whole world up way I see it. Save someone can stop them. I'll stop them. That is my, uh, I don't know, destiny now, I guess. <laughs> my goal. <laughs> Stop the dragon that's hurting everybody. And that took my heart. <laughs> oh, rock. Climb back up there. That's right. No. Too tall. The uh, circle is where you're supposed to go for your main quest. Let's throw. Nothing. Sad. Yeah, no rupees in the pot. Sad. <laughs>
sleep. <laughs> Start with? Yes. Hey, a small coin pouch. So we have money. 2,100 gold now. Okay. Swimming takes stamina, if I remember right. Something like that. Run out of stamina, you drown. Hi. Hi. There's talk of monsters emerging from the shallows all along the shore. Okay. Nasty things, too. The brine, they call them. They say they're many, and yet one. Whatever that means. Seems this brine can be bested once more. Not to do, but avoid the water's edge. Don't go to the water. There we go. That's what that guy's telling you. You can raise your affinity with people by giving them items or completing the quest they ask of you. Performing actions that people dislike will decrease their affinity of you. So yes, there's a like-dislike system in this game. Anything else over here? Anything? No? Yeah, don't go too far out in the water. It's basically what that was. Oh, hold on. Every item matters. Starfall Bay, and then you can see where we are. Different things have different things here. We're gonna explore to find stuff like this treasure chest! Go to the water. No. <laughs> I don't wanna die yet. It will. It's insta-death. I think. Harspud juice? More consumable items. We'll pick up everything and then we'll go over the items. Another treasure chest. See? That's what we get for exploring. Harspud juice? Exploring is useful. Large nut, good. Healing items are important. Fish! Aha! Yes, just caught a fish with my bare hands. All right, another empty flask. We can get some oil. Oh yes, that's what that status effect is. We're drenched. As in water. That's important. Bear girls would be proud. Fishing! Yep. You all know how much I like that. <laughs> Break everything everywhere. Yes, gotta gather items. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> right, you're nothing. Thanks, game. Yeah, that's basically what the game told us. With the whole plebeian shirt thing. <laughs> right now, you're a nobody. Take soup? No, that would be nice. Nothing? Sad. And we have dried off. That's good. Take oil for the uh, lantern. Another flask of oil. I need this. You don't. You won't be walking around outside. When it's dark. I will be. <laughs> okay. I think we've done... 
a good look at things in the village. Stuff! See? Worth it. Again, hero's privilege. Uh, I should have uh, used that to break those. I mean, that's... You can see our weight has changed to light because this is heavier. Thief? Nope, sir. Main character privilege. That's right. Oh, those don't break. That's right. Don't forget it. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to buy everything else. So, unfortunately, that also comes with main character privilege. You can take everything you want, but you have to buy your equipment. I'd rather just get equipment for free, but that is not how it works. Kindling! For fire, that'll be useful. Something hidden here. Another small coin pouch. More money. Something here. A clean cloth. Wool cloth. Keep an eye out for the shiny bright light. It tells you there's something there. Oh, this looks like it's a shop, but there's nobody here. It has the icon for a shop. Oh, well. Maybe later. An airtight flask? The airtight flask is really useful. Container to preserve materials. Place an item to prevent it from perishing. So anything you put in the airtight flask will not perish over time. It's tradition. That's true, Maze. <laughs> no having to buy your equipment. It's tradition. Hemp. Not with anything. Wool cloth. Those are materials for stuff. We can combine the kindling with flask of oil to make something. I'll wait on that. And you just combine it with, with something like the small fish we got. Or the uh, Scrag a Beast. And then it'll preserve it and it doesn't go bad. Because like I said, again, um, eventually food will go bad. Some food will go bad. Like the nuts won't go bad. Um, these herbs won't go bad. But like fresh meat and stuff will. You know, things that things that are, are perishable. A uh, small fish recovers a bit of stamina. So not health, but stamina. Purchase equipment and useful items from shops or wandering merchants you encounter on your travels. Probably a torch. That's why I'm guessing. That's why I didn't uh, didn't combine it. What's in the barrel? A rock. <laughs> that big barrel held one rock. Must be a very special rock. Anything? No? Man. Please let us help in your noble quest by overcharging you for stuff you desperately need. That's... Yep. Green wash. Awesome. Healing items are important. Harado's Grocery. Except he's not here. Take that. Ooh. Carrot. And a pumpkin! Pumpkin restores a bit of health. It's also really heavy. 1.77. And carrots restore a bit of health. I want to know who did that. A single rock in a big barrel in PC. Pumpkin? Oh, I can't grab those pumpkins. Must be bad or something. Oh, a stealth. Hello. hello. This is a shop. Hi. It's a mercy so much of the village was spared. Thanks to me. I only wish I had more to offer. But of course we have to buy stuff. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, amount, which is how many, 
uh, we are we are currently carrying how much uh, the weight how much the cost green rush uh, health poison we'll buy one of those drive off the urge to sleep huh this is expensive never mind bottled haste restore one's usual speed aka gets rid of slow <laughs> which is a torpor eyedropper throat drops which uh cure silence which will be of the utmost importance for us carry one for now a bit expensive for us right now um cures possession which is a nasty status effect, if I remember right. Cure skill stifling, which stops you from using your skills. Um, this interventive is awesome. Restores health, stamina, cures poison, torpor, silence, if you're on fire, and if you're frozen. Here's a bunch of stuff. It's also expensive. And then check out, you can see what you're going to buy and how much it costs. Tools. We already have a lantern, a pickaxe, which you can use to uh, mine ore and things like that. Airtight flask, empty flask. We definitely want empty flask. We'll use them quite a bit. And then we can, instead of buying the uh, water and oil, just take the time to get empty flask and go fill them up yourself. Unless you have a ton of money. And you want to save time. Special arrows. Poison arrows. Sleeper arrows. Um, you can tar the enemy with an oil arrow. And then, I don't know, catch the enemy on fire. Smile and nod. See a lot of movies that needs a way to cure action. To actually cure possession. <laughs> Throw blast. Inflicts catching fire. All the more uh, powerful with an oil arrow. Dragon spit catches fire. Throw blast you can combine. Okay, we'll buy the airtight flask. We'll also buy I think the pickaxe's break. We'll buy just one for now. Can't use any of this stuff. Okay. Um wooden staff cost a thousand. Ironclad staff, two thousand five hundred and seventy. This icon means you can't use it. <laughs> if you don't see this icon, you can. A leather cap. Traveler's hood. And then you see the vocations there that can, that can be used. You see that there are a lot more vocations. More on those later. We don't have access to those right now. Uh, we'll buy the leather cap. Traveler's shirt. You see, it's a fancier shirt. You can see the shirt underneath. Yay. Bands. This affects elemental resistance because they're um, wooden. Minus one uh, resistance to fire because, well, they'll catch fire. They're wood. Um, but plus two, I think that's ice. Maybe electricity. Don't remember. Some uh, web, some uh, equipment can make it to where you have uh, resistance to certain certain status effects. Like, that's poison, I believe. Um, buy the talismanic beads. So you can see the beads on the wrist now. Mages usually have light armor. Correct, light clothing armor. Correct, and we are are uh, subject to that rule. As you can see, we can't even wear the uh, leather jacket here. Belts, chest guard, absolutely not. There's a robe. 
Shabby robe. Healer's robe. Kind of looks like a, uh, like a surgeon outfit. Scholar's coat. I'd like to have that. But that's expensive. Traveler vest, which is light armor. Way more magic resist. Like his pants, tights, workers pants. So they all cost different amounts of money and have different stats. And cloak, which we cannot afford. Cloaks are expensive. Everything here is going to be second hand. <laughs> His robe looks quite dirty, yep. Yeah, traditionally mages do have uh, light clothing or light armor. Look like a cut up tater sack. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll buy the robe. The uh, tattered robe. There we go. Now we kind of look like a mage. By the way, you can store items too. We can't, st I don't think we could store them here. But uh, we'll have access to a, a, a storage. I only wish I had more to offer. We are going to sell the pumpkin because it's really heavy, even though it only gives 40. Um, we're going to smell the uh, sell the fish. Smell the fish, yes. We're going to sell the small fish. There we go. Why do mages wear light armor? Only because of the old bookworm cliche. Um, mages wear light armor for various reasons, um, just like historically. In games, um, typically they uh, aren't strong enough in, in games and just when you think about it. If they, they don't work out because they just spend all their time studying spells and and uh, having to um, just focus on the, the brain part that they don't work out or anything. So they're weaker than, say, a knight, which wears heavy armor. So that's one way you... you uh, you differ, uh, differentiate between the two. Um, another one is chat is saying is it restricts movement for spell casting. In some games, you have to have the uh, free motion, completely of arms and and uh, arms and legs to do gestures for spell casting, which you couldn't do in heavier armor. Um, in D and D, it can uh, heavier armor restricts you, and it can cause spells to fail. There, there's several different things. So it's just it's been that way in lots of games for for various reasons and just continues to be so. Not always now, but so we're gonna sell those. Um, sell the jug, the festival pie. Well, I should show throwing off, throwing the festival pie. <laughs> I should show off throwing the festival pie. There we go. Hard for me to speak today. Okay, you can do more than one at a time. Uh, we don't need the bucket. That's just extra money. We don't need the tatters or the shirt at this point. Because it's still it's still taking up uh, it's still taking up weight, <laughs> and we'll check out. There we go. I only wish I had more to offer. I wish you had more to offer too. 
Oh well. Breaking your barrel. Thanks for the money. Enter all of these places. Because a shop doesn't show up on your map until after you enter it. <laughs> you see the map kind of slowly filling in. With like the item shop there. Sword shop. You know, weapon shop, things like that. Okay. Pablo's Inn. You can restore health and stamina and advance the passes of time at any inn or resting spot. Notice boards, like this one here, across Grants' advertised quest. Errands and favors you can choose to undertake. Cinderella looks like a monk now. You look like Friar Tuck. It's one dinky little cap. All right, I get it. The armor's not great, all right? <laughs> We're just starting. <laughs> Besides mage, what do you want? <laughs> I don't remember how how fancy the mage stuff ends up looking when it's all said and done. There's a lot of money there. That was awesome. Grancis herb. Beef steak. Pumpkin. A knife. A large fish. A fair bit of stamina. We're going to airtight flask the fish. Now it is a kept lar large fish. Large fish preserved for lengthy storage. So now it won't go bad. It weighs more. Kind of because the airtight flask weighed some as well. So. By the way, the uh, heart spud juice. Sweets from heart spuds, which is like a, a type of like potato. Consume it to recover a fair bit of health and stamina, which is good. Ooh, we can make something with the heart spud juice. Combine it with the small nut. Rousing perfume. I made perfume. And the large nut makes something different, but I want to keep the heart spud juice. Apply it to recover a bit of health to the entire, a bit of stamina to the entire party. So the perfume, because you can spray it, it recovers the entire party, which is great. A deadly throwing knife introduced by the Land of Bandits. Can't combine it with anything. I believe you can hold it and then throw it, though, yourself. Grant this herb. Um, the herb itself doesn't do anything, but if you, you have to combine it with something else... Like this cloud wine to make... Well, we don't have any cloud wine, but like a cloud wine to make more of the healing herb. Beast steak recovers a fair amount of stamina. Thank you. Okay. Defeat 10 bandits, defeat 10 goblins, slay 7 mice... The other day, I took a number of rodents in my home. Tabular numbers in all the realm. I nearly fainted. So somewhere, there's seven mice to kill. He should be so lucky. Slay five rabbits. Take the quests. How should I find you? Hmm? Like his greetings upon you. What can I do you for? Rest for 50 gold. Manage stored items. Never mind. As you will. Here we go. At the ends, you can uh, store items. Excellent. I don't remember if things go bad if you store them. Yeah, see, it says time sensitive. Time sensitive. Time sensitive. All the time sensitive stuff will go bad. And you can see that the uh, large fish is not time sensitive anymore. A kniffy. <laughs> Kniff. <laughs> 
store that. As you will. I'm not store anything else right now. And you can combine from here too. You can combine things in your storage. That's As just you me. will. What can I do you for? They can. Okay. Open. Why does the innkeeper have a knife for bandits? Yeah, for bandits. And he's telling us, hey, you need to do all that stuff. That you just took the uh, assignment. That you just took the quest for. Okay, don't climb down the ladder. That's cool. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. There's aught there. We don't have access to the uh, to the stones yet. We'll show those bandits to fear the dinky hat and robe. So mean. <laughs> Does he have a shotgun? Knives aren't that scary. He's not a farmer. He doesn't have a shotgun. Throw blast. Awesome. Empty flask. Grab everything. Nothing sad. I could... Nope, not gonna let me jump. Fine. Press B while climbing down a ladder to descend quickly, which I just did. Thanks, game. <laughs> like so. What? Do you need something? Yeah. Need you to aid me in my quest. It's your job. Not yet, but anyway. That's that. I think we've gathered lots of things. I wouldn't say everything. I probably missed things. We gathered lots of things. From houses. Is that water? Yeah. I'm going to fill two of these empty flasks up with water. So we have some. And we'll get going. speaking with. He's of the Pawn Legion. They come from some unknown place, just appear without a warning. They are a strange lot. Not human, quite. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will, the spark what drives us. They have no capacity to feel nor act alone, so they live as cell sorts. Myrmidons, they're called. There's an encampment west of the village, where men gather to face the dragon. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. Why don't you take him? Might be you learn out of why he came to you in the first place. Before. This is Rook. Before leaving, make sure to visit the town and get supplies. He is here to help us. 
He is also a magic caster, I believe. Yeah, we have to go to the camp first. So let's go! Burning yourself with items and equipment will cost you speed, obviously. There's a lot of crazy things you could do with a knife. This path should see us there. Take to the roads and head for the encampment. By the way, this game has an autosave function, periodically saving your progress throughout your adventure. You can also manually save any time you like by pressing back, like so. Which also pulls up the uh, menu. You can also save this way. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted a pawn, not a rook. But that's the joke! That's the joke, Panther! Get it, pawn, rook. Small coin pouch. Green warish. There's more stuff here. Sunbright. Again, pick up everything. You can also converse with the uh, pawn. Like, give him orders and things like that. This night cry. That's different. Rabbit! How many did we need for the quest? Five? And uh, the NPC will pick up stuff too. Like, you found kindling. And it will tell you when they pick something up. Rabbit pelt. Where'd the other rabbit go? The rabbits are just going to be out here randomly. Um, it's kind of hard to do that as a warrior because you just have to run up and hit them before they run away. <laughs> Make sure you don't fall. That's death. But we can grab all this good stuff out here. Deep fried rabbit. Yeah. So we'll have to keep an eye out for, for rabbits. Get your Elmer Fudd on. <laughs> Except unlike him, we will actually succeed. Uh, really easy as the uh, as the mage to do this. Because ranged. See, the NPC is already learning. Break stuff. I don't think you- oh, you can't shoot the bird. Anything over here? There'll be a lot of exploring, because we'll look for items and stuff. Treasure chests. Stone. Now my uh, chat is talking about all the different ways to have rabbit. Deep fried rabbit. Rabbit stew. Rabbit shish kebab. <laughs> I'll take Deep fried rabbit. <laughs> Pawns will collect and use items of their own volition. Now that is really important. They will collect things, which is good. But they will use anything they have on them when they feel it's appropriate. So if they pick up something you don't want them to have, it's good you uh, you take it for yourself. And then you can store it later. He is equipped with a Brigadine Jerkin. He is a level 6, uh, a level 6 mage. Again, he is your tutorial helper here to help you. I wonder what's inside. I don't know, let's find out. An oil arrow. What's that? And then why throws it farther? I'll take that. No, you won't. My rock. <laughs> no, you can't have it. <laughs> Oh, 
steal his weapons. I don't think we can. I don't think we can take his stuff. Like, we can take items and things, but I don't think we can take his weapons. So you can't do that right now. Yeah, see, we can't have him give, uh, give his stuff up. Okay, let's go back to the road. Please don't overdo it. Oh yeah, st uh, uh, running takes stamina. <laughs> Be careful to conserve energy. Grab it. This path should see us there. That's two. Scrag of Beast. Let's see what we have here. A large nut. You have a staff, just whack him over the head and take it. I think y'all are missing the point of he's here to help us. <laughs> and not in the way of just giving us equipment. There we go. Level two. Oh, so we can take all the... Uh, Okay, now the uh, spell we start with is Ingle. Yay, level three. And uh, Anodyne as well, which this cures poison, I believe. Or maybe that is the healing. Yeah, that's the healing one. Cool. We start with the basic healing spell. So the way spells work is they have a charge up time, as you see with Ingle here. Once the spell is complete, you let go of the buttons and you cast it. I just wanted to argue that giving you better equipment is helping. <laughs> see? See? I know. I knew. <laughs> Um, so that's how spell casting works. All spells. That guy's getting beat up. We should probably help him wherever he is. Save the peddler. Press X or Y to attack. Blah blah. Is he on the road? Where is it? There's this. There he Have a fireball. Shall we lend a hand? Fight or flee? The choice is yours. Takes fire. I'm not gonna run. We're gonna save this guy. They grow frenzied. I see the uh, staff hits. The uh, basic got, attack doesn't do much. Did it. Oh, and it's starting to get dark. When foes seem too much to handle, try gaining levels or obtaining better equipment. Haven't you seen Monty Python? Rabbits are dangerous. That rabbit is dangerous. It's like the only rabbit that one of the very few rabbits that are dangerous. These rabbits are not dangerous. Oh, You're welcome. That was far too close. Uh, went that fireball hit the peddler as well. Acceptable losses. <laughs> so mean. Um, no, because it's a single target spell. More on that later. A traveling salesman, though those damnable beasts ruined my wares. But thanks to you, it was only wares I lost. I'll consider it a bargain. You have my thanks. You're welcome. This looks interesting. You may see peddlers hawking their wares as you make your way across Grancis. They often come across rare items not found at more stationary shops. If you see a peddler, make sure to check what they have to offer. Give that to me. Uh, combining it with the makes oil arrows. That's what the the kindling plus flask of oil makes oil arrows. Give me those. Uh, 
Using a lantern will hold the darkness at bay. I know. But we're heading back to town, so... Your lantern consumes oil. If it dims, use a flask of oil to refill it. Thank you, O oh skirted man in the dinky cap. You are my hero. <laughs> I love you, chat. You're fun. <laughs> How's the day find you? Okay. Mm. We're going to uh, rest until morning. So many babes. Okay. That way I don't have to worry about the lantern oil or anything. That stuff is still bad. It'll, I think it tells you when it's about to go bad. Nothing says, I'll save you like a fireball to the face. <laughs> That's the mage way of saying I'm here to help. Oh, we got this night cry. It cures poison. That's good stuff. A flower that thrives throughout Grancis, it only blooms in daylight. Uh, time sensitive, restore some health. Cape flower, favored by Cassandra females, combine it with other materials, wormwood sap, restore some health, former property of a goblin, used in mixing of curatives and other items. Oh, we got a leather cape! Awesome! And we have a cape. We should use it. We should have it equipped. <laughs> Store two of those. Store the mithrandrate. No, keep all the keep all the healing items on me. We'll sell the pumpkin. We're gonna store the fish. We don't need it right now. We can use it later. Restore some stamina. There's that throw blast. It's expensive. We'll store it. We have some oil arrows. We can't use arrows, so we'll store them. We won't sell them, because in case we change class, we can use them then. As you will. What can I do you for? Take care now. That's all the ceramic jug is used for. Well, I'm going to sell it then. I don't remember, did the, did the quest just automatically turn in? That's why I came back to town. Uh, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. It just automatically completes. Okay, cool. I right, did that, Rook. It's a mess. So behind. <laughs> okay, we don't need. We don't need the ceramic jugs. Those could be sold for money. Make a jack o' lantern. I wish. <laughs> Can we com what all can we combine with the pumpkin? Just the airtight flask. It just makes the where the pumpkin doesn't spoil. We'll just sell it because it it heals a, a a bit of health, but also just weighs a ton. Okay. I only you always. Generic rook is generic, yeah. 
He he's the generic helper Bon. For this part there. of the uh for this part of our journey. See us there. I said this path should see us there. We're just gonna take this path. Rabbit pelt. Meat. Throw! Yeah, and didn't break the one that had the one. Uh oh. Where? Oh no, that's a rabbit. Uh, we have some berries. Useful. Berry. Green wars. Um, I have played. Uh, I played Dragon Age One. I played some of Dragon Age Two, and I've played uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. If you lose your way, you need to consult your map. Oh, Rook picked up a Grantis herb. Green warish, a spade. Oh, he found something. Dragon Age One is all right, from what I remember. I really don't remember it that Man that well. Um, two, I didn't like that much. Hence why I only went part way through through the game. Um. Dragon Age Inquisition is awesome. I only played the base game. I never played any of the DLC. If if uh, Dragon Age Inquisition Game of the Year Edition goes enough on sale for me to get at some point, I'd like to like to try to grab that because it was really good. Here? No. Hey, look, it's a fort. I think that's where we're going. Rook found a rock. Keep finding things, buddy. It'll be useful. A pine branch. Hey, he's finding all kinds of things over there. The pine branch is great. We haven't found that yet. That's new. Oil arrow. Ten of them. Dragon Age Origins. That's the first one, right? <laughs> okay, just break that. That's fine. Uh, these red, these uh, red barrels are explosive, as you see there. Be careful with those. No hermits allowed. <laughs> Careful, Syndra, that's Fort Bunny. <laughs> the rabbit captains are going to be mad at you. <laughs> okay. Sunbright. Green Warish, awesome. Green Warish is really useful because it's a healing item we're going to be using a lot. Take everything from the bag. We've arrived, Master. We have arrived. I wonder what's inside. What's inside? Was that bottled something? I have to leave early. Oh, sorry, sorry, Panther. Game reminds me a bit of a watcher too. Oh, it's it's that it's a genre. It's this subgenre of game. Oh, oh. No. If memory serves, I know the way, Master. Follow me. It must be near. Fine, we shall follow Rook.
Hey, we'll now learn to use that thing, I think. If you've forgotten where you are in the star in the story, select Chronicle from the pause menu to review a history of your journey thus far, which is really cool. It's a reminder. Hi, person. You look important, lady. Command headquarters. Probably in charge or something. Knife. Flask of oil. Flask of oil. That's good. Another flask of oil. Flask of water. Harspud something. Liquid Vim. Dose of courage. Stone. Some brew. The strange power emanates from within. <laughs> Does it? Didn't before. Yes, it will now. Can you hear our voice? We are the Borg. <laughs> ah, that's that's funny, you <laughs> call. We speak to you from across great distance. The Horn Legion has awaited you. Greg, give this strange and impersonal greeting. Pretty strange. This rift serves as a gate. It connects our kind to your world. It opens to the Arisen. For they possess a will powerful enough to guide the Legion. If you would claim to be among the Arisen, prove the strength of your resolve. Sure. Very well. Then we shall guide you in your trial. If you are an Arisen in truth, this humble task will prove no obstacle. The Arisen must possess the valor to stand against all threats and the power to quell them. A tireless spirit of self-improvement grants the strength to lead the Legion. Greg, show him now. Search the area. Select status from the pause menu to view details on your current, uh, current condition. Call of the Arisen. Check the area around the encampment until you find a threat that must be quelled. Alright. A rift stone. Strange power emanates from within. Shall we search the area? Let's search the area. The beast comes! Hurry! I think we found a threat. No, not those guards. Brooke again grabbing stuff, grabbing some healing items. There may be prowling monsters about. He doesn't get to have those. He doesn't get the really fancy one. Give me that. You can have everything else you have on. Sweet pollen. Combine it with uh, Rook's item and make potent green wash. So using sweet pollen plus a green wash makes a potent green wash. The potent is better. It heals more. Let's do that. Pine branch used to make arrows and other stuff. Rick, you already said that two seconds ago. That's what I was saying. Like, the NPC will repeat themselves a lot. You just kind of tune that out. <laughs> um, you can turn the turn them, um, them talking off if you get too annoyed with it. But again, they can give you useful tips on enemies when you actually go to new parts. But when you're in parts you've already been before, they can end up saying the same things over and over again. There is a, another notice board here. Slay two seabirds. Phantasms. 45 undead warriors. Eight spiders. Three cyclopses. Some of those sound really, really tough.
those guards go? Do, do something. Do what? What's going on? Shall we search the area? That guy just freaks out. <laughs> Do something! But the way y'all have been talking about how I how I look, what's he expect me to do? <laughs> First journal entry. Part of a journal. You can read that later. There's stuff over here. Okay, there was one thing over here. <laughs> they all ran someplace, but I didn't... It was a closed gate, but where? go outside they go outside do something want me to do a barrel roll <laughs> pray for them yeah I can do that oh we got music okay that is a problem that, uh, Cyclops there will be a problem. The goblins, not so much. Goblins don't scare you. You're big. Oh, uh, well. Back off! No. Rook, no! Let go of Rook! See, their kind hates fire and ice both, so he doesn't like this. Ugh. As you take damage, the amount of health you can recover through magic in the field also decreases, indicated by a white bar. Rest at an end or use curative items to fully recover your health. Basically, every time you get hit, most of your health can be restored with magic, but not all of it. Over time, your maximum health will go down. In effect, your maximum health will go down. That you can heal through cure, to, through a cure magic. After um, you cure up with that, you can get the rest of your health back through healing items. Which is why healing items are still, are, uh, still important. Even if you can cast, um, healing. Which I can. Ow! Although healing does take a while to cast. No, they hold the advantage. Here, have a fireball! So, the Cyclops can't move if something is holding his leg. Ah, I tried to jump on that. Goblin, leave me alone. Go away. Yay, level up! Because of the uh, all the goblins. He cannot move with one upon his leg. See, so climb to its leg, throw it off balance. Not my job, magic user. 
You can blind it, though, as you saw, by hitting it in the face with a fistful of fire. Now, of course, if you, did, if you noticed, most of its health was gone. <laughs> Don't expect to just go take on a Cyclops at our current power level. That's to, uh... To say, hey, you... You can help us do that. You know, first quest type thing. We've done as asked. Let us go and give word of it. Set out from here and we'll be on the path to Grand Soren. After accepting a quest, first note the quest mark on your map, then continue by searching for the required items or information. Poor Blinky, all he wanted to do was be loved. Well, shouldn't have eight guards then. Shall we search the area? <laughs> Ekbal, located in the command headquarters of the encampment, provides many different support functions to adventurers. Speak with them to rest and heal your wounds, learn and enable useful weapon skills, or store excess items. I think it's this guy. Have all you this need? Guy. We are named first and foremost. We can safeguard them. Have your pick, any you like. Cost 300 gold. Uh, managed stored items. Is there anything I want to throw right now? Harspud sauce. Heals a lot. That's good. Preserve stamina. Yeah, prevents uh, stamina from draining for a short period of time, which is really useful. Recovers defenses and strength in case they get lowered. Greatly restores health. We'll store that. Don't need that right now. Store the oil arrows. Store one of the water. Store some of the oil. You're going to see me in this menu quite a bit. <laughs> because weight is an issue. Misshapen eye, used in the crafting of weapons and armor, a rarity. There's the uh, journal note. What will it be today? Okay. Pick any you like. What will it be today? As we level up. And just use our skills and fight enemies, we will gain discipline. Think of discipline like skill points. What you do with discipline is you learn skills. Augment secret augments. Learn staff weapon skills. This is what we do as a mage. As you can see, these cost 200. And these are the ones we can learn right now. As we learn skills, our rank will go up, I think. I think that's how that works little rusty sorry and more skills will unlock basically as you become better at your class more skills will unlock so there's frazzle which um is an ice spell leaven which is a lightning spell smites an enemy from above with tons of lightning frazzle creates a concentrated field of cold around the user that deals ice damage to whatever foe it touches we also have these boons that the NPCs have been casting on us so far. But we'll be able to cast them. There is Fire Boon. Launches a bolt of magic that enchants an ally's weapon with fire. So then they start swinging with fire. Ice. They start swinging with ice. And Thunder. They swing with thunder. So if an enemy is weak to a specific... A specific... Element... You can enchant the uh, enchant the weapon with that, and they could start swinging, or you could start swinging with that element. That way, every strike you do hurts more. So I said, there's an ice spell. These are attack spells. These are enchant your weapon with magic. So we have enough to learn two things. Chat, what should we learn? I'm going to have you decide which which uh, skills we learn. Again, I'm trying to keep this interactive as much as possible because I know wandering around 
while it's it's fun, it may not may not be the most fun thing to watch. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna have you choose the skills we learn in a certain order. Discipline is not carried between classes, if I remember right. That's why you have to level up each class separately. Learn the skills for each class separately. Your level stays the same, I think. But you have to learn the skills by using that class. So again, there's ice attack magic, thunder attack magic, or lightning attack magic, and then the boons, which enchant weapons. So you strike with a certain element. Let's see. Levin and the Ice Spoon. And whichever two get the most votes is what I'll what I'll go with. But yeah, it's really neat. And there are a lot as again as the uh, class ranks up, we'll be learning all kinds of different skills. And different and, and different spells in case of the mage. <laughs> Which is a lot of fun. I can't believe it already streamed two hours. It feels like we just got started, but that's how these games are. You know, these kind of games, you can end up just taking an entire stream, just searching around <laughs> for things. <laughs> Which some people like like watching that and just having seeing the entire adventure. You know, that's that's part of it. And I hope all of you have a lot of fun. Are you having fun talking to each other in chat and that's one of the great things about streaming? I hope you're having a lot of fun with the game so far and and uh Everything that goes with that. Well, I think I lost chat, which is sad. So. <laughs> or they're thinking really hard about <laughs> about choices. What will it be today? And then when you learn skills, you uh, set them. You set them to the different buttons. For the mage, you get two. Um, you get two sets. You get the because you don't have the secondary weapon, the bow or the shield. You basically have six spells you can cast at one time. What will it be today? Okay, we'll go with 11 for sure. So you see it X's it out. We now know that. And it tells you how to use it. <laughs> see, that's something I need to make clear now. It doesn't... If <laughs> I know some of you in chat don't know the game. That's fine. What sounds cool to you? <laughs> I'll make it work. That's the challenging part for me. Spells are good. <laughs> Regardless, you know, spells are good. Just what sounds cool? Does having an ice field around us sound cool? Does um, enchanting weapons sound cool? You know. Question. Sure. Hmm. 
Answer. <laughs> I can go ahead and equip that real quick. Does the boon only work when you hit with your staff, or does it change the little energy balls you shoot? Uh, I believe it changes the uh, the energy we shoot from our staff. I will make Y. What will it be today? I believe. Again, I don't. I don't remember everything. <laughs> I remember very little. go with um ice spoon sure and we'll be getting more discipline we'll be learning the spells anyway i'm gonna put that on this side ice spoon there we go what will it be today have your pick can you come again soon Discipline points can be spent to learn augments and skills. Why do you tell me this now? Skills and augments must be enabled to use them. Right, you have to have them equipped, basically. And we'll be going to that menu quite a bit. So get used to... <laughs> get used to it. And... Like I said, there'll be a lot of skills that we'll be... That we'll be learning. Or have the chance to learn. With that, your trial is complete. We did it! You are the arisen in truth, proven beyond any doubt. Now, I bid you select a companion for the journey ahead. They shall serve you and you alone, to share in your hardships and aid you in every endeavor. Oh man, I forgot you customized the pawn. <sighs> Set the look of your constant companion throughout your journey as Arisen, your main pawn. So this is the uh, the pawn we the our, our main pawn. They will um, be with us for the rest of the game. Our main NPC companion. You made me go kill a Cyclops to prove that? Couldn't you at least have just checked for a pulse? <laughs> yeah, or like thereof in my case? Yeah, I'm arisen. Look, no pulse, no heart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what to do for the, uh, for the pawn. Chat, do you want to make the pawn or you just want to randomize it? <laughs> to the degree that I can randomize it. Because I don't remember if you can ever change the way the pawn, the pawn looks, just like your character. I don't think you can change it. Have I ever played Draken? It that sounds familiar, Maze. It it does it like immediately um ring a bell, but like it that sounds familiar. Like oh yeah, I know. Female, okay, female. Um, what should the pawn's name be? We need a name <laughs> for the pawn. I 
I'm not good with names, so... Night of no, let's not make the, uh, let's not make the pawn knight. <laughs> Um, uh, well, you know what? Let's go with Gwen and take that from Tokadin. Knight is no pawn. She's the queen on the board. That's a hundred percent true. <laughs> um, her moniker is there Gwen. <laughs> That'd be funny. Ah, there is. Gwen. <laughs> we'll just go with Gwen. Let's see. Kinda looks like Gwen. That'll work. We'll we'll remake Gwen from uh <laughs> from Token into. That one's good. I like type. Three. I'm gonna be here for an hour. Now I'm gonna try to speed this up. And we're just gonna live with how she looks. We'll go, we'll go type three. Um, Again, so that way we don't sit here for an hour making a character. That way we continue on. We'll just, we'll keep going. I do like the warrior suggestion, Swift. I think we'll make her a warrior since I'm playing mage. I think that's a really good idea. style she had. I think it was shorter. We'll go with this. Again, she's gonna be um she's gonna be wearing if we're gonna make her a warrior, she's gonna be wearing heavy armor anyway, so most of this will not be seen. <laughs> Um, sure, why not? Okay, you'll be asked a few questions. Your answers will shape your pawn's inclination. I'll let you all choose this. This will basically be how the pawn reacts to things. Um, her, uh, this will change over time, depending on, on play style and how we answer questions and things like that. But first, when faced with danger, which trait would you most value in a follower? Iron will, quick thinking, careful preparation, or the charisma to lead others? So we should, we should ask it this way. What does Gwen have? Does she have an iron will, quick thinking, Careful preparation or the charisma to lead others?
Christmas to lead and a follower. Yeah, I know that one's a little, a little. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so broke between iron will and uh, quick thinking. Anybody else want to chime in real quick? If not, I'll tie break it. I'll give a few, a few seconds. I forgot about this part. So sorry, I forgot about the whole making the pawn. Quick thinking. Okay. Three to two quick thinking. While in battle, which strategy would you prefer your follower to employ? Kill all enemies, rescue comrades in danger, strike at the strongest foes, or call for reinforcements? Rescue, rescue, rescue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there are four questions. Rescue. Okay, so rescue comrades in danger. Okay. Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide of the entire battle. What would you have them say? This way, master. Leave them to me. Now, master, strike the final blow. Quickly after them. I like how this question goes into the from the last question. That's cool. Five silence is golden. All are bad. I agree. I don't like any of these. <laughs> I mean, now master strike the final blow that's kind of what i'm leaning toward as well that or quickly after them the stats don't change that much whichever whichever one we choose uh, we'll go with now master strike the final blow As a ruler, which gift would please you most? A, mag a magic potion that preserves use? A brave and just hero to succeed you? The perfect spouse, a majestic white steed? Guess this one's more directed at me, huh? <laughs> um, it'd be one of these two. It'd be perfect spouse or the uh, brave and just hero to succeed me. What kind of question is that? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> um. I already have the perfect candidate, Knight. Oh, see, she's not here to hear me uh, to say that, which is really uh, 
which would have been really sweet. But all right, we'll go with a uh, brave and just hero. That's what three people in chat, four people in chat are, are going with. So uh, brave and just hero to six. All right, select vocation. We're gonna go fighter with the uh, swift's recommendation there, which I think is a good one. Hi, Gwen. Our fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Legion's men called pawns live and die by your command. We have an entire Legion behind us. Except you can only take so many in battle, which is sad. Why can't I not just summon this entire legion to help me fight? But, you know, can't do that. Gwen is level 2. Defeating foes and completing quests earns you more discipline, boosting your prowess and a vocation. And because we got EXP, our vocation level was increased. A rift stone. A strange power emanates from within. So we can now examine rift stones. This is a rift, a space between realms from which any and all manner of pawns can may be found. Should one catch your eye, speak to the pawn to enlist it in your party. So these are all like ones that um, devs made. You may hire only two pawns on your party at one time. So we can only have two pawns. If, it's the invocation and gender, they be discharged by speaking with them again. We can get rid of them. So you always have your pawn, and then you have two more pawns with you. Now, this is where if you were playing with friends, you would see their pawn show up, and then you could take them. Or if I switched it online, you would see a bunch of different pawns. I'm not going to play online. That way, there's no spoilers for those of you that don't know the game. You don't see really fancy stuff until we unlock it. Defend your knight's honor syndrome. <laughs> but I'm not a knight. I'm a mage. We're going to take this guy. Yes, Arisen. Um, as you do quest and things with the pawns, you get these rift crystals. And certain... Uh, the stronger the... The stronger the pawn... The more rift crystals I think it takes. And you can have 100 pawns in your favorite list. Enlist you. I am honored to travel with you. So we'll take that that NPC one. And then we already have Rook still. Is everything in order, Master? Is and everything in order? If you should ever. We'll put Rook there. We'll add Rook. You can send them. You can also send them away, and you go bye, and then they run off, and then a new one uh, walks in. You can be both. All right, that's true. I can be um, anything I want to be. Ah. This is where you can find top break pawns worldwide to help you really get through the game. Takes the fun out of it. I like just playing with uh, either friends pawns when they're close close by me or. Um, just taking the ones for your level. Oh, I get it. Ha. Huh. Knight as in knight, my girlfriend. Got it. I ah, a master and his pawn, is it? Yes. You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. I can help in that regard, should you wish it. Sure, Sir Burn. This is where you can take tutorial stuff. The man of the enlistment corps. 
Never turn away the eager. We are ready to begin. Are you? Begin training. Let me be clear from the outset. I'm a harsh master. Whoever the king. You'll complete three forms of training in sequence. Each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more than raw muscle here. If you find a task too difficult to manage, you might reconsider your party. There are other pawns here. You can choose among them if you care to. The first task is carrying freight. Hold a lot of them before my count ends. You're free to choose your company, but this is a task too great for just one person. Many hands lighten any load, as they say. Now, get to it. We'll begin as soon as your I'm ready, let's do it. Is, to <laughs> is he Spanish? I guess. <laughs> okay, so we have to grab all those boxes and take them to wherever he wants them before time runs out. Right there. To that circle. First test. Move the cargo. So you can see everybody is going to get uh, different cargo. This is your main pawn. It will forever act as your faithful servant. So Gwen will always be with us to help. Where's the circle? I think that's all of them. Enough. Well done. There you go. Each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior before long. Next is combat training. You'll face my scarecrow army here. Destroy them before my count ends. You know, you shouldn't use mind hallucinating drugs. That's really mean. Get it? Scarecrow a army, huh? We'll be of help again, but you must choose your companion. Wisely. A company all doing the same thing is less effective than using a varied approach. Choose well. It's fine. We have two mages. We have the uh, Strider, which is the road class, and we'll Wind is a word. As soon as you're prepared. I'm you're ready. Let's go. So we have to destroy all of the this Scarecrows before go. time runs out. I'll fill it with a spell. <laughs> Draws near, sir. Um, we must no time. When... Oh, yeah, now I'm in range. <laughs> I wasn't quite we have done. Enough! Enough! It's the way he says it. <laughs> well done. Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior before long. Right then. Finally, you'll be destroying more scarecrows, but don't expect a repeat of the last. There are two sorts of scarecrow, each with its own weakness. One falls only to steel and brute force, the other only to magic. If you're not mindful of how you attack them, you'll fail. Strike fast and strike hard. Vary your party and your tactics until you find success. We'll begin? Well, it's... Well, that's fine, we have two... Force on so the top of it. This is weak to magic. So the uh, ones with the blue shield are weak to magic. The ones with the red shield are. Or is it the other way around? There's the uh, lightning magic. Which one's left? There's one up there. I'll fill it with a spell. Strength in numbers, Arisen. Enough! Enough! That's the fastest I've ever seen it done. And on a task fit to challenge even a seasoned warrior. Well done. You've completed your training. Yay, clap. See now the difference well selected partners can make. Yes, no doubt. No doubt. Basically, have a varied party. You'll learn the rest from actual combat. If you have trouble, examine your party. I've learned what to do in this quest. 
If your strategy seemed toothless against your foes, try changing your party makeup, enabled skills, and equipment. I've gained quest knowledge. So now Rook now <laughs> Rook knows how to do that quest. He knows what enemies are weak to what. Like when it comes to the uh, the scarecrows. So then he could help teach somebody else. These starry-eyed boys of late are all ambition with nary a sniff of talent. <laughs> This is for seasoned warriors? I fear for the quality of your army then. Well, they are an NPC army, so. I feel familiar with this area now, so now Gwen knows where to go. She can help guide other people. Hey, you need to go here. Alright, let's go rest. Or, hi. You're not creepy at all. Can safeguard you. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Now, not only do we learn skills, but Gwen gets uh, discipline and learns skills as well. Other pawns do not. You hire them, and then they have their own set of skills. So eventually, you'll have to let them go and get pawns that have more more experience. Darth Bane. <laughs> he wishes he was Darth something. No, definitely not evil. No, not at all. <laughs> um, so Gwen will have her own set of skills to learn. She will get disciplined just like us. Just like us, I believe she can also change her class later. So we can uh, shift her around to help suit our needs. Uh, we now have more discipline. Because we've reached rank 2 in our vocation, you can see there we have another stamp now, we have some more things we can learn. We can still learn Frazzle, the Fire Boon, and the Thunder Boon. We can also learn Levitate. Well, we don't have the discipline for Levitate. Mitigates gravity's pull, enabling a gentle landing even from great heights. Makes it to where you don't uh, die from falling damage. <laughs> We can also learn augments. Augments are like passive passive skills, you can say. Equanimity. Blah, blah, blah. Amplifies your magic when you stand at death's door. So if you're close to death, basically your HP is in the red, uh, your magic will become stronger. There's also intervention. Reduces cumulative damage when you're debilitated by the five arch magics. So when you're hit with, like, fire, you, uh... You don't take as much damage from the from the dot, basically, the damage over time. So there we go. Uh, I'm gonna take the suggestion earlier, I think it was made, said learn both of the of the attack spells, so we're gonna do that. And then we'll choose other ones from there. I'll let uh, you chat choose things from there. So you can see all the attack magics. What will it be today? We also need to have Gwen learn something. She has two sword skills she can learn. She can learn Broad Cut, which is just a, uh, a wide swing while taking a step back. So it's a backward swing. She can also learn Skyward Lash, which you saw me use at the beginning in the prologue area where uh, you swing up in the air. For things that are flying just a little bit above ground, you can slash and hit them, and then bring them down. <laughs> so there's that. Skyward Lash. She can learn uh, shield skills. She can learn Shield Strike, which you, it's a shield bash. Um, it doesn't do much damage, but it breaks guard. She can also learn Symbol Attack. Unleash a barrage of strikes using the shield. Get your Captain America on. Just <laughs> shield bashing a lot. So those are the two she can learn with the shield. Um, she can't learn the core skills yet, so let's not go over there. 
So a sword skill or a shield skill, chat? Something to uh, bash the enemy with, with the shield, or in a uh, sword skill to slice with. Man, I can't believe the stream is almost over. It feels like we just started. <laughs> Shield, two for shield, one for skyward slash, two for skyward slash, Okay, so it's split. So here's what I'll do. We'll, um, sword, okay. We'll, th three for the sword, okay. We'll learn Skyward Slash, and then we'll take, um, we'll take one of the shield skills. That is how I'll do this. I'll do it by number of votes. So we're learning Skyward Slash now. And then the next skill we'll learn, um, probably Shield Strike, being able to, uh, have the enemy not block sounds useful and we'll do shield strike there you go everybody in chat wins just over time <laughs> it just takes time uh she starts with blink strike so we'll give her skyward slash blink strike is a lunge it's a lunging attack she also starts with shield summon which is a taunt which is really useful and then we'll equip her with that when we get it and you see you only have so many augment slots as well when you start getting those. So well, Many choices will be had. Have your pick. Any you like. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Um oh, we have these uh these stones. Transversal item. Stone that may use these uh, may spirit the user back to the entrance of Bitter Black Isle. Only use one within the foul labyrinth of that cursed isle. Okay, this sounds like DL. It says DL. So I bet this is for the Dark Arisen stuff. We'll tackle that later. Um, bring it to the Return of Dread or the Black Abbey if you dare. Okay. Oh, we got some stuff here that gets... This is from the uh, from the DLC, too. Robe of Enlightenment. I guess this stuff would be to help you get... Have some... Swordsman Ring, Dagger's Ring, Staff Bearer's Ring. What do these do? This item enhances the following weapon skills. Oh, it makes weapon skills better. Alright, we're not going to use any of that because it's DLC stuff. So that's going to stay there for now. What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again. Okay. Now. What can we could we could combine this with Night Cry to make something? Crimson concoction. A tonic, the color of ox blood created by cons combining the other si uh, substances. Consuming it may not be wise. Well, that doesn't sound great, does it? We could combine it with the dose of courage and make something. Sure. Serenity extract. Just made something kind of random. A drink to improve defense for a time at the cost of lowered strength. That's not great. Yay, experimentation! <laughs> I love the whole combining combining materials. Nothing there. 
we can give this to Gwen to hold on to. Gwen can hold on to the uh, like materials that aren't usable. That way she doesn't, you know, accidentally use them. Because the AI will do that. Oh, we can combine the spade and broom to make a pickaxe. Look at that. That's what they can combine into. Don't ask how. I'm just that talented. <laughs> I miss doing all the comboing in DQ8. That was a great combination system. This one's really good, too. Like, I think you would really in enjoy this, then. Wormwood sap. Oh, we can make the uh, herbs. Okay, well, let's do that. And it makes those better healing herbs, which is good. Uh, you can combine the rock with the clean cloth to make an absorbent rag. Don't ask me how. <laughs> the absorbent rag will get rid of... Uh, um, the uh, drenched status effect. You may say, okay, so your character is is soaking wet. What's the big deal? We have a lightning spell, right? <laughs> so many enemies. <laughs> just just think about that and put two to two two and two together. Seems successful. Okay. Let's see. Quests. We have all of these random quests. You can also find pawns that are just uh, walking around. A pawn status can be determined by its icons. It means the pawn is online. As a pawn to whom you cannot give gift is a friend's pawn, so you can see your friend's pawns just like walking around. And the handshake is a pawn you've enlisted in the past. Hello. This guy at level 11. Help you. Enlist 443. We have 14. So you can also find pawns. Where are. Hey, look who it is! Born in a Boy there. In some time, hasn't it? Enough time to become well famous in your case. The Arisen. <laughs> Tis the second coming of Duke Dragon's Bane, I dare say. I like it, friend. I like it well. Now, let us talk of business. You'd be a fool not to have a look at my wares. Oh, now he's acting as a traveling merchant. Something else you can do with your weapons. You can upgrade them. So this rusted staff can be a rusted staff at level 1, which is 200 gold. As you can see, the strength, and more importantly, the magic in our case, will go up. To increase to even higher level, you'll have to have fancier stuff. Stuff we've not seen, and a lot of money. But you can make items and armor better. We can actually do this. We have the uh, large on 80 gold. We have 2% darkness resist. So you see, there's even more than you thought to the equip. Excuse me, to the equipment. <laughs> Increases poison resist and cursed resist. Let's do that. So that's three stars now. So that's complete. You can just jump ahead to three stars if you have the stuff. Um, two of the rabbit's pelts. No. What do you have to buy? Has a lot of a lot of the uh, small nut twenty. You can see how much the uh, how much they have here for you to buy. Mushrooms, edible mushroom concerning uh, 
consume it to recover stamina. We will buy two mushrooms. That's expensive because we've not seen them yet for us to combine. A green wash. And you can also buy for your companions and then it'll go straight into their inventory. I'll buy two green wash for Gwen. She can heal herself with. Oh, you can see some of these have the uh, in parentheses. That's how many you own total. The amount is what's on you. So you can see that we have two in storage. Copper ore is different. Cheap and easily worked metal used in material for weapons and armor. We can buy rabbit pelts, but you can see stuff is expensive. Weapons. Ironclad staff. Way more magic. A rod finished with iron. Heavy in the hand, but easily wielded by conjurers of every stripe. Leather cap is still there. Okay, first things first. Let's get a better staff so we're not wielding a stick. Look, that looks like a proper staff. <laughs> it's an actual staff. has iron on it. Looks fancy. doesn't look like just a piece of wood. <laughs> That's rusted over. We'll buy that. So we have the money to do that now. Still the leather cap is all to have. Uh, bandages for the torso. Uh, shirt. Guard. Chest guard. And the robe. We're already wearing something on the arms. Uh, we have we have a cape we could buy, or we have a cape. But piece of driftwood is so great. <laughs> Novus breaches. Neophyte adventurers. We can't take the uh, can't use the metal uh, or fur greaves. Gives more defense. We'll buy the Novus Breaches. Um, and That will do for us. We can also equip Gwen. She can use Metal Greaves. It'll give her less magic defense, but more, more physical defense. You can see Greaves down there. Let's do that. Novus Bracers. Buy one of those. Leather chest guard, chest guard, sectional armor. She can't use the robe. Meets only. We can buy the linen shirt. That's not that much more defense. We could give her a leather cap too. Let's not do that. Um, trusty sword instead of whatever sword she's wielding. We can also give her a better shield. The uh, trusty sword has a big jump in attack power, so let's buy that. And we're broke. <laughs> How does metal lower magic defense? Actually, never mind. <laughs> It's just how it is in games. Also, there's some reasons. 
You can think about, like, getting struck with lightning. Alright, there went all the money. We'll check out and buy all the stuff. And let's get equipped. So, yes, you can equip your main pawn. You can't equip other people's pawns. Or the, just the pawns you hire from the rift. They're with whatever they have. So, just in case Doc or one of my other friends picks this up, or one of you pick it up and want to use um, my pawn, um, we'll give Gwen better stuff. It was an iron sword. Heavy sword, common across the land. And then now she has a trusty sword. Metal forged from light yet durable material. Built for agile fighters who would stay nimble in battle. It's just better make. Um, skull belts is what she has. You can see the skull on the belt. And a tunic. Let's we'll give her these Novus Bracers. So now she has those. We can give her the metal greaves instead of the shoes. I'm going to put this cloak on. Yay! It's a little leather cape. Kind of goes with the outfit, don't you think? <laughs> Cloth greaves. It's already being worn. And the staff. Yay! No. Now we sell stuff. Sell the rusted staff. Sell the cloth greaves. Keep the leather shoes in case we come up against something that's really cast a lot. We can sell the iron sword. We don't need it. The misshapen eye sells for a lot, but I think I'll hold on to it. Check out. No. Let us talk. We don't have any ore, but we can make it level one, increasing the magic even more. Um, we can use one of the clean cloth and make the shabby robe better. Apparently, I'm going to wear it for a little while. You just need a bigger beard and your hermit costume will be complete. Thanks, Eagle. <laughs> we have the wool cloth for the novice breeches. We'll just buy the, the uh, level one for now. Same with the leather cape. You see, level one usually just takes cash. For this beginning stuff. And it gives it an extra point. Every point matters. The tunic. Skull belts. And we'll upgrade the trusty sword making it even stronger. We, oh, we do have the money for the round shield. Good. A little better. All right. There we go. Now we're broke broke, <laughs> which now, is why we do quests and stuff. Business. You'd be a fool not to have a look at my wares. Already did. With money and the right materials, all weapons and armor, but jewelry, so you can't upgrade jewelry, but everything else can be enhanced. If you haven't sufficient materials on hand, the remainder will be automatically taken from your item storage. So you can do that. All right. Hey, it takes a lot of talent to pull off a credible homeless vagabond look well. Gee, thanks. A new area has been unlocked. Visit the Casadari uh, Pier at night if you would see it for yourself. That sounds like the DLC. The Dark Arisen thing. When you are unaware where to go next, make for the blue quest marker on your mini-map. <laughs> Yay, so now Gwen knows this area. As you explore areas, the NP your uh, pawn will learn it. 
and can help point the way for others. Yeah, I don't know where my shoes went. That was weird. Because it, it showed that this has shoes on the, uh, on the item. I hear a goblin! Here, have some lightning! By the way, here's Frazzle. And it lasts as long as you keep it up. And it's just cold around. Now, magic takes stamina, so keep an eye on your stamina. There's no way we could have lost to that. Fire! Lend thy kiss! And the these enemies are weak to fire, so. Stay watchful. They didn't drop anything. Lame goblins. Oh, there we go. Hunk of ore. Some night cry. We can likely pass through here. We can pass through here. The shadows fall with these. Stay watchful. Yeah, so when you're poor, it increased your hermit gear more. <laughs> Goblin! Goblin gets fireball to the face! Two fireballs to the face. What else would you expect with my help? Get it! Who knows what lies in wait? Let's proceed with caution. Strength in numbers are risen. Grab stuff. What's that? Some small foe lurks ahead, Arisen. Does it? This looks interesting. <laughs> Heavy load will cause your stamina to deplete more quickly. Sell or discard any or all items you no longer need. I did not mean to grab the uh, dead goblin body. Hmm, this place looks fancy. Plants of all kind grow at the tree's feet. Like so many verdant children, we share these roads with traveling peddlers, guardsmen, and other people. I think we're supposed to be heading back to the uh, beginning. All that jumping on rocks with bare feet. You're either crazy or part, hob a part hobbit. It says eagle. Panther, why not both? <laughs> ah, the venerable Arisen returns. Are you come to lead the pawns in a quest to slay the dragon? Those equivocal husks. Will or nil, the Arisen is always drawn to the dragon. As puppets strung in fate's own thread. Many have come before you, eager to stand tall atop the grand capstone of worldly truth that is the dragon. Arrogance. The dragon is ever born anew into the world, and with it too, the Arisen. All Arisen seek out the dragon, but lucky are the few who attain an audience with the beast, while yet they live. <sighs> Ours is a weak, fragile world. And little within it is more frail than man. In yon encampment, they gather up their knights and hired steel. They think to grow their numbers and hunt the dragon. But they shall soon learn their lot will ere be as prey. Has appeared off the visit the pier at night and speak to the woman there. Yeah, sounds like DLC. Well, um, that wasn't creepy at all. Wrong. Something about this well seems wrong. Well, we'll probably have to uh, deal with that next time. As we say. So yeah, 
evil, creepy person in the cloak who apparently is missing an eye, maybe from the dragon, who knows, is um, saying that basically we're going to fail. I think we should prove him wrong. So thank you very much for watching this first stream of, of a Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. That ma the mouth of your character, it looks like. Oh, well, Maze, that's just how it is <laughs> with character creation. Um, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this first look at Dragon's Dogma. There's the Dragon's Dark, Dark Arisen. There's lots more to go. We'll be a lot of quests. We'll see lots of different enemies and learn more spells and have a lot of fun so i really do let me know chat if you enjoyed this first look at dragon's dogma if you're interested if um you're gonna show up for more streams you know usual what i always ask so just let me know how you feel um until wednesday which will be the next stream same time as always, uh, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until then, I'm Cinderella 9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.